Hey, how's it going everyone? It's been a while since my last video, but I wanted to... I've been very busy and haven't had much time to sort of do modeling work, so I haven't had much to really go through. But I, I've been doing a lean bit hair and grooms and stuff like that, and I've been trying to test it out to see how to do it. But um, also how to bring it into Unreal Engine on Couch Creator 3 models. When I was getting my lean bit hairstyles and turning them to grooms in Unreal and then creating a binding for for it to work on a blueprint, it, it would just crash, it wouldn't work. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you who are trying to put stuff on blueprint characters that are Character Creator 3 based, pretty sure you're having the exact same problem as me. So using my Character Creator 3 character, I brought it in, assigned the animation, sorted all that out, made a blueprint and you know just bog standard ready character after that um yeah trying to do grooms on it so i'll show you how to do that now go on to edit go on to project settings go on to skin cache support compute skin cache make sure this is enabled or true go on to edit Go on to plugins. Type in groom. A lean bit groom importer and groom. Make sure these are enabled. After that, you're going to want to go to Niagara. Yeah, type in Niagara Extras, Niagara and Chaos Niagara. I don't think, I don't think Chaos Niagara makes a difference, but I think Niagara Extras does. So make sure Niagara Extras is turned on. After you got that, go on to a folder where you're going to store the Olympic files and drag in your file. My scale is minus one at minus one in the X and 180 in the Z. That way, it actually comes in properly from Ornatrix Maya to um, Character Creator Three Unreal Engine characters. <coughs> Got that, I don't think any override, override guides on. I don't think that matters. So let's go to import. I've got that in, so let's go to third person BP, blueprints. Is there anything I've got to do before? No. Yeah, one thing you might want to do. Um, go on to your character, so go on to your skeletal mesh. Skeleton and I've already done a groom there, so let's redo it. Let's do head and add socket and call this groom one. Um, you need to then change the location of the groom, well, of the socket, but I'll show you that later. Okay, so go into your blueprint. Double click, let's delete that, delete that. So starting from the beginning, let's go into mesh, add component and type in groom. Add that, when you've done that, add component and type in Niagara. All right, so in your groom, you wanna choose your sort of groom, right? You can change the way this looks later on. So if you want, you can do groom groups description. You can then get, you know, hair length, hair width, hair root scale, tip scale, all these. Uh, hair width. You can actually change to make the hairs thicker so it's less see-through. So I do that, is that see-through? No, so I'm going to keep it like that maybe. Or you can change it, change settings. There's lots of videos online about how to, you know, texture your hair and get materials and like all that. But yeah, I might go through that later on. Um, type, go on to here, so event graph. I typed in attach component to component. So let's do that, attach. Component to component mesh. Let's delete that and let's delete 
delete that. Let's bring that over and that over. You want an event begin play, so right click and event begin play. Event begin play, that'll create this for you. Do that, so when the level begins, this will happen. Get your groom, bring it over, target, go on mesh, and go on parent. Now, <coughs> now with the socket name, this is why we chose a socket with the head and called it groom one. That's the socket that it's going to be attached to. After you got that, you do compile and you'll have your hairstyle like that. Bind groom to skeletal mesh, you can um, do that. Let's do begin play and you can see the hairs like over there. Easy fix for that. This is why I said we're going to change where the socket is. So go to skeleton, your groom one. Let's rotate it 90. And you find it is like above you. Um, so if you go in here and it's on the right, you're going to have to rotate. Yeah, you, you just look at the rotation and it should be, you know, expansory for you. Then you want to move it down. So let's reduce that speed. Go. So let's reduce that and rotate it five down to make it sort of, you know, straight. Bring it all the way down to I think the ground. You can save and check. So after I've done that, I'm going to play and I'll see that there's on the character but it's not where I want it to be so it's very much a like a trial and error sort of thing so keep trying it and keep trying it now it needs to come up is that right that seems fine. Um, yeah, I can't exactly zoom in, but it looks fine to me. So it'll most likely be a case of trial and error for you. But you'll notice the head doesn't simulate at the moment. But it, you know, it does move the head. It does animate properly with the skeleton. So I'm happy with that. Bigger improvement from trying to create a binding for it. So when I did that and create a binding, you targeted a skeletal mesh to be your CC3 character. It just crashed every time. So this way the hair comes in with the character's head and moves with the animation using this method. Now to really make this better, Come in here and we just double click hairstyle one or whatever you want, whatever it's called. Um, you find that you got your hair physics group. You're gonna enable simulation here. And with your Niagara solver, do custom solver and groom asset system. Now to make sure the hair doesn't go all over the pace, you can do, so if I, um, what is it, save it. So save that, right? and play you see it does like it's like simulated but it's like it just it moves all over the place so let's save all just to make sure it doesn't crash let's double click that and bend stiffness that's the one thing i'm going to increase up to like maybe two but save that again that his hair doesn't move as much or doesn't like wave about as much um so that is yeah now the hair simulated it moves with the character and you know it, it's quite cool um 
So I'll save that, and that'll be the end of that, I guess. So, yeah. It basically went through how you get your hair or a lean bit grooms onto a character in C well, a CC3 character in Unreal Engine without having to do the bind groom stuff. <clears throat> that was, uh, yeah, I mean, it's taken me about a week and a half, two weeks of just trying to find anything I can find on it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully that will stop people from spending as much time as I did trying to figure out the issue. Um, plus, I know like some people have already asked me about it, so there you go. Um, so, yeah. If that helped you, please let me know, and please drop a like. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'll be back soon with another video when I can find something that takes me another week to do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy modeling.